homegrown project made by Seattle director Megan Griffiths. Yay, Yay Megan. Welcome. Hi. It's shot right here in western Washington. And I heard parts of it were in North Bend. I'm going to ask about that. Lucky Them stars Tony Collette and Thomas Hayden Church as a rock journalist and an aspiring documentary filmmaker who team up to search out a legendary songwriter who disappeared from the music scene and hasn't been heard from in years. Lucky Them screens tonight at 7 o'clock at the IKEA Performing Arts Center in Renton. And if you want to, you can also catch it tomorrow night, 9.15 p.m. at the Egyptian. Megan Griffiths, welcome to the Bob River Show. And you, you, were, you were here before, right? I think I was via phone last time. All right, what was the movie then? Eden. It was no. about human trafficking, remember? I remember that. Very, very different film. This is a much movie. lighter topic. A little bit lighter, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although that was a very important film, and other people are making films about that and, st- and still working on uh, yeah, solving Yeah, there's another issue. great film about trafficking. Isn't there one in SIF this year, too? this year called Sold, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so congratulations on that, because I know it was important work to you. This is Big Stars. Yeah. And yeah. great work for locals, right? Yeah. That's tell, me, tell me, where did you shoot this film? There were rumors <laughs> out in the Snoqualmie Valley of, but it was it wasn't one of these stars, wasn't it? It was Johnny Depp. That Johnny Depp was there. Is Johnny Depp in the movie? He is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so now annoying. The cat when is out of the bag. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, well, we were it, it, for a while. We were trying to keep You can't expect the watchful eye around. of the Snoqualmie paparazzi to miss <laughs> anything. <laughs> they really were. You you would you wouldn't. I, would be, right. I was surprised. Well, tell me where you filmed out in our area. And it, just tell me all the places you filmed. Around. Let's see. Well, we shot a lot in Seattle um, and then in uh, in North Bend, in Snoqualmie Falls, in Carnation. Uh, gosh, I, I, the, that area heavily. And is it because you think we're a wonderful place to hide out when you don't want anybody to find you? <laughs> Carnation seems like it would be, actually. It does, it's actually. It's a pretty small, yeah. little, quiet community. Yeah, little roads that go up into the hill. and uh, Yeah, it's, could... it's just sort of nestled back in there. Lots it's of great. temporary makeshift homes. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. Uh, and so when you shot out there, like, how are the communities? Like, if you shoot, I, I don't know anything about, I, a little tiny bit, because my son's a, a filmmaker, but a little bit about... You don't just go shoot a place. You have to make arrangements, right? Yeah, well, we had an awesome location manager named Dave Drummond who did all that for us. that's their job, Um, yeah. Yeah, he just, uh, you know, you go out into the community, you talk to all the people. Incarnation with Mr. Depp, we had a bit more, bigger of a job because we were trying to keep it so quiet that we basically had to clear off the entire street. How do you spirit (laughs) Johnny Depp into Carnation? Like, do you uh, have him... (laughs) Do you have him with a road crew of something else, and, you, and all of a sudden he takes off his lumberjack <laughs> oh, that's jacket? Brilliant! Yeah, how you. How do you get him in? Now I wish I had the story like that, but really he just he brought his own plane. He landed at the airfield. Which and we airfield brought him was it? In. I, uh, Is it Fall City? Remember. There's one in Fall City. I think it was in Seattle, and we he, he took uh, minivan. Okay. Boeing probably. <laughs> yeah. How do you convince Johnny Depp to be in your film? Because uh, I mean, it's a you know a very I won't say big budget film, but it's got big stars. It's a real movie, but this is not Pirates of the Caribbean or <laughs> Willy Wonka. This isn't, you know, you're not giving him 10 million bucks. Nowhere near the here. budget of either yeah. of those yeah. movies. But yeah. great actors do it for love of the script. I, I think, think really that's what it is, and that's what it comes down to. And, and he, I think, really understood the character, which is this person who got a lot of fame early in his life and really wanted to escape from it. Johnny Depp hasn't escaped from it, but he does have an island that he lives on, so I think he gets a little... He gets a little freedom to choose. (laughs) Today Um, I will do something I want to do. (laughs) Tomorrow I will do something that Disney wants me to do. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Uh, Now uh, tell me where the script comes from and and what's the... uh, Like the premise is, is it like a... Is it almost like Jim Morrison, some rock star, uh, people think they died, or is it just somebody who disappeared? Yeah, well, he disappeared, and there's lots of rumors of his death. Okay. And and then Tony Collette's character uh, is a music journalist who was dating him at the time of his disappearance. And so when he left the world, he left their relationship too, and she sort of left that un. Uh, is there un- strong evidence for many years that he died, or is it just a total? There's, I think he he left evidence like he, he faked his. Yeah, death. there there's a scene at the at Snoqualmie Falls where. Okay, I'm not gonna ask. Yeah. I don't want to spoil. Yeah. I want to spoil. No I want to find it. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, he uh, it, it's it's kind of she becomes um, she she's sort of reliving the same cycles over and over again because she's never really dealt with mm-hmm. this issue. And then her editor, who's played by Oliver Platt, 
uh, gives her an assignment to track him down okay. and really resolve it once. Oliver all. Platt, that you know from I, the Big C, the show absolutely. that you love. Absolutely, he's fantastic. Oh, he's, he's awesome. Oh, jeez, it's going to be like all sorts of people watch this thing. that it's I wish I'd met. And Ryan now, Eggold, also from the Blacklist, who uh-huh. plays the a hole husband. Oh, <laughs> what I hate him. For him. I hate him. Yeah. He's a terrible man. Oh, he is the best. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a cast. lying. I don't mean bastard. in real life. I mean I hate that character. <laughs> so let me ask you, Megan. Who's this Johnny Depp guy though? Everybody else I know, Joanne Woodward. Megan, were you a big US of Tara fan? I actually watched, I've, I've seen every episode, and Ryan Eggold has a very small role on one episode of that, too, no. funnily enough. So they had had a scene together before they did this one. Tony is brilliant. She really is. In that show. I mean, she shows she's, she's such a, a range. She's a brilliant actress. Yeah, she really impresses me to every was it day. Di- Was it difficult to get her interested in only playing one person? Yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of sets a bar, doesn't it? She's Muriel's wedding. Oh she could God. literally come to my house. I've never met her. She could knock on my door and be like, can I borrow your son and your beloved dogs for three hours? And I'd be like, go ahead, Tony. <laughs> yeah, me too. Go ahead. Just take what you want. Muriel's wedding. She's, I'm such a fan of her. What's she, like, what she like to direct? She's awesome. She's incredibly focused and just, she. she's the kind of actress who comes in with a very secure sense of who she's playing. And she, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, like, let's psychoanalyze, let's get into it in, in advance. It's more about when you're on set, you go through it, and if, it, if there's a moment that feels off, we kind of talk through it and find it All together. Right, interesting. Great. Okay, now, um, again, I, I, these days I'm so sensitive to spoilers. I don't want any spoilers, but I love speculating, like, because <laughs> uh, there have been, uh, there've been other stories like this. I assume you have to do some different things. I mean, it'd be cool if the rock star was busy making a fantastic album when they were hiding out. Uh, it'd be cool if they weren't. It'd be <laughs> cool if they were growing blueberries or being beekeepers or who knows what w- offense, what happens. But um, but something happens. This we can tell you for sure. Yes. Something does happen in this film. That's not a spoiler. <laughs> That's a promise. <laughs> That's a problem. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> Lucky, Blowing it up in here. Lucky them. Uh, and the journalist is working hard to get to the bottom of it. Is it? Oh, I'll ask this. Are, are the people of the town like the like hiding information, difficult kinds of people? It's or? not really thriller territory. It's more okay. of a sort of clumsy search that these two, because uh, Tony's character is joined by Thomas Hayden Church okay. from Sideways, as you probably know, and yeah. uh, and he is, uh, they're basically an, an inept pair trying to do, like, you know, private eye work that they have no business doing. Your cast is plucked from some of our favorite things of all time. Me too. And you too, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a dream. Uh, is this... This uh, now, uh, what's the big, huge upside? This this uh, is doing very well. Well, it's it's being released in a week. Um, it's it's uh, SIF this week. To SIF this tomorrow. week, and then mo- uh, big city monstrous uh, nationwide. Yeah, May thirtieth nationwide, um, and then in Seattle, it's opening at the Northwest Film Forum on June thirteenth. So, are you going to buy one of these small towns that you were just? Oh yeah, I'm to? totally. <laughs> the <laughs> island next to Johnny. I'm going to get. Yeah, I'm going to get. I'm going to buy a little part why of Johnny's island us, like a tree. Why don't you build us an NHL stadium <laughs> south of the dome? You know, Megan is an awesome homer. I'm looking at your uh, <laughs> at your list here. I see you've got Faustine Hudson and Sean Nelson, two local amazing rockers, and you've mm-hmm. got Lynn Shelton, who's one of our homegrown directors too. So, is this like a? Is there some Seattle? undercurrent of films bubbling under some sort of community of everybody like hand in hand oh, and we're going to sure. make tons of movies it's here very incestuous we're going to top vancouver yeah and we also yeah with this we wanted to infuse a lot of the music we I should be we should be annexed by canada so that we could have their cool health care and tax break <laughs> <laughs> we're not nice enough. Enough. yeah have have they gotten back into promoting the film industry in Seattle. I know I know Vancouver yeah, for a while they said that we're going to not have time. a film uh, tourism board. Well, right? we have we don't uh, the state film office was in was absorbed by the Washington Washington Film Works, which is our incentive program, um, okay. which is is sort of always battling for its existence in our legislature and right now it's it's you know very healthy and robust, but it needs to be expanded. So that's the new the, right. the new movement. I'm sure you're working on that and this yeah. movie will help. You are a local uh, artistic treasure. treasure. That's oh. what I, well, I was going to look for the right artistic <laughs> a treasure. Uh, film treasure. I'll Megan Griffiths, thank you very much. Thank Folks, you. do not miss, not just because of the local connection and all the rumors, but because it sounds fascinating, do not miss Lucky Them. Uh, tonight at 7 at the IKEA Performing Arts Center in Renton. Tomorrow, 9.15 at the Egyptian. And then a bigger release a week from now. Yeah. Thanks. Be well. Thank you very much.